Hi friends, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to solve this surface areas and volume problem. This is very important problem. Your right circular cylinder and the cone have equal bases and equal heights. If the curved surface area or in the ratio 8 is to 5. What is given in this question? Right circular cylinder and the cone have equal base and equal height. First we will draw cylinder. We will draw cone also. Cone height and base is same for cylinder and cone. So this height is same for cylinder and cone. Base also same for cylinder and cone. So this is our radius also same for cylinder and cone. This is slant height. L. What we need to find show that show that means prove that the ratio between radius of the basis to the height is 3 is to 4. R is to H is equal to 3 is to 4. We need to prove. Curved surface area of cylinder and curved surface area of cone formula. First we will write curved surface area of cylinder is equal to 2 pi RH. Next curved surface area of cone is equal to pi RL. L is slant height. How we will find L? L is equal to root of R square plus H square. This is the formula. What is given if the curved surface area or in the ratio 8 is to 5? So curved surface area of cylinder divided by curved surface area of cone. Now we will write curved surface area of cylinder divided by curved surface area of cone equal to what is the curved surface area of cylinder formula 2 pi r h divided by curved surface area of cone is pi or l l what formula r square plus h square so how we will write pi r root of r square plus h square equal to what is given in this question 8 is to 5 so 8 divided by 5 so pi r pi r cancel what is remaining 2 h divided by r square plus h square root equal to 8 by 5 this 2 this 8 is cancelled so 4 by 5 what is remaining h divided by root of r square plus h square is equal to 4 by 5 next step what we will do squaring on both sides why we will squaring on both sides this root we need to remove so that's why squaring on both sides so h square divided by root of r square plus h square the whole square equal to 4 square divided by 5 the whole square. Next step h square divided by r square plus h square y means this square and root is cancelled equal to 4 square is 16 5 square is 25. Now cross this. 25 h square is equal to 16 open the bracket r square plus h square 25 h square is equal to multiply inside 16 r square plus 16 h square you see here here is h square here is also h square h is bring into one side so 25 h square minus 16 h square here is plus that's why this side comes is minus equal to 16 r square 25 minus 16 how much comes 9 9 h square is equal to 16 r square you see what we need to prove r is to h so r is to h means so this is r is here h comes down so r square divided by h square is equal to 9 by 16. 
this is square so higher means what we will do 9 root divided by 16 root is equal to r by h root 9 how much comes 3 root 16 how much comes 4 equal to r by h so r is to h is equal to 3 is to 4 you see here in this question radius of the basis to the height is 3 is to 4 r is to h is equal to 3 is to 4 hence proved we will write hence proved thanks for watching this video